Hello Revolutionaries, this is Dave Newbury, Director of Coaching, and in this video we're going to look at the 1-4-4-2 formation in the defensive shape. In the first video, we are going to just play through a scenario with the goalkeeper rolling the ball out wide to the left back for the opponent. Our team is in the white and the red, and you can see our players shifting across the field as the ball is transferred from our right to our left hand side via their central defender. Our number three eventually wins possessions, creates a counter attack, and then our number seven ends up receiving the ball on the far post for a shot. Now let's look at some of the partnerships involved in this sequence. As the ball goes wide, the number seven is slow to put pressure on the fullback and allows the ball to be played to the number eight in a deeper position. But look how well the number two gets close and puts pressure on the eight, forcing the ball back inside. Now, the relationship between the four defenders is really critical. Watch as the ball transfers to our left-hand side. The number three gets closer to the number seven, and the number four, five, and two now shift across almost to the point where all of our team is on the left-hand side of the field. So that shifting pattern is something we're looking to see with all of our teams. The ball eventually is played up to the nine. The eight finds a great pass into the path of the seven who has actually moved forward having been in a defensive compact shape. Now we're gonna look at the role of the midfield players, the midfield four. We have the 11, our left-hand side, uh, midfield player, our number seven, our right hand side, and then we have the number six and number eight. Uh, pay particular attention to the role of the number six, who provides cover in front of the back four. Um, the number eight moves higher, but the number six tries to remain in a central position uh, in front of the back two defenders, the number five and the number four. As the ball does make its way, over to the other side of the field, this number 11 is uh, not quite quick enough to cut out the pass. But then as we win possession, the number 11 gets into a high position in support of the number 9 in case the opportunity arises for a counter attack. As the ball shifts across, in an attacking sense, look at the number 6 who is now moving into position that if we were to lose possession of the ball, would be in a good position to provide a shield to our defensive line. And then finally, let's look at the work rate of the number nine and 10. Number nine and 10 aren't there just for the glory of scoring goals, they have to put in a lot of work. And in the modern game, the strikers put in an awful amount of defensive work and often are crucial in the defensive strategy. The number nine and 10 have a lot of lateral width to cover so they take it in turns to run from left to right and back into the center exchanging roles but what's really important is that when the ball is won by our number three the number nine and ten are in close proximity to be able to create the counter attack if they were lazy and on the other side of the field when we won the ball we wouldn't have been able to penetrate going forward and as we move forward into a position where the number seven becomes a threat, the number nine and number 10 take central positions around the penalty spot with the opportunity to score.